In our highly globalized and modern world, aviation is a vital service that cannot be dispensed without. It is the glue that helps to bring people closer to each other and make the world a much smaller place. It helps to transport over a billion people and 40% of the world's manufactured exports every year. In Singapore, the aviation industry alone contributes to around 9% of the Singapore's GDP. To ensure that such an essential service does not break down often, millions of men and women are employed and work from behind the scenes to monitor and ensure that each flight is carried out with safety and efficiency. They deal with countless procedures and processes, 24-7 all year round, to ensure on-time flights and passenger safety on board those flights. One of the areas where those men and women work in is called the Flight Control Centre, otherwise known as FCC. Here is where we can find the beating heart of the industry. All of the crucial processes happen in the FCC. The preparation of the flight plan, weather forecast, pre-flight briefing for the flight crews, monitoring of flight progress and many more. In this video, we will focus and look at one of the more major processes that is carried out in the FCC, the aircraft weight and balance. The procedures involved in aircraft weight and balance are the bedrock of a safe flight. As the name suggests, they deal with calculating the aircraft weight and managing a balance in the center of gravity of the aircraft. For most of us, it's just checking in and weighing our baggage at the airport check-in counter and seeing it being loaded onto the aircraft, and occasionally paying excess baggage at the counter. However, there are more things going on behind aircraft weight and balance. Okay, so for today, we'll be interviewing Mr. Chua Boon Swa, who currently works at KLM as a customer service manager. He used to be a load master for more than 10 years. So um, I've arranged an interview together with him. So let's go. The weight and balance setup has changed and uh, it has now actually moved to central. Yeah, so what for station concern at this moment now is basically uh, we are working on, uh, we call it coordination, uh, station coordination between HQ and the loader. To know more, we bring you straight to the KLM station at Chinese Airport, where Mr. Frederick Fu, a flight dispatcher, will bring us around his office and show us what he does. Good morning, my name is Frederick and I am a flight dispatcher of KLM in Singapore. Today, I will be bringing you around my flight dispatch office in the FCC to show you what goes behind the scene for aircraft weight and balance. Let's go! This is my office and here are my colleagues. And this board is where we plan and prepare for flights for the day. Among the many tasks that we accomplish, a crucial part is the weight and balance calculations. There are three key elements in aircraft weight and balance. Firstly, weight of the aircraft. Secondly, maintaining a weight and balance record of the aircraft. Lastly, the loading of the aircraft. This is the load and trim sheet for flight KL8501 to Denpasa, Bali. This area states the operating weight, including both the weight of the passengers and the weight of the fuel required. It is a full flight, with 75 passengers on board and this portion shows the baggage load. Finally, this segment shows the total traffic load, which is 6,945 kilograms. This value represents the zero fuel weight, which includes both the weight of the aircraft and the passengers. 52,951 is the takeoff weight after the weight of fuel has been added. And finally, the landing weight would be 49,000. 951 after deducting the trade fuel. All of these values are subjected to last minute changes. And this portion 
is the trim sheet which we used to ensure that the aircraft is within the CG limits. What I have just shown you is the traditional method of calculating weight and balance. Presently, there are numerous computer softwares which allow the computer to do the work for us. This is the weight and balance computation form, generated from one of the softwares for the same flight. Before we end off, this is the passenger manifest, which is a list of information of all the passengers on board flight KL8501. This comes to the end of my tour of the FCC, and I hope you have learned something new throughout my tour. Thank you and see you again. Goodbye. There are three operational considerations for aircraft calculations. Firstly, fuel weight, needs, maximum weights which determines the aircraft airworthiness limits. Lastly, the operating weights of the aircraft. Aircraft also handles cargo in and around the world, including perishables. Let's tune in to Mr. Chua to learn more. Do have tulips coming from Holland, of course they are special uh, uh, shipments mm. and tulips only come at certain period of the year, season. Yeah? season, you're right, and of course temperature setting will come in, you need to set a temperature between 10 degrees, 5 to 10 degrees in the compartment. Tulips are, are come in boxes and then they are stacked on the pallets, mm. so uh, of course tulips are quite light, so these pallets are, we call it volumetric. So uh, perishables, of course, once it arrives in Singapore, uh, we will not leave it under the sun. But we will quickly send it to the warehouse and quickly put it into the cool. And yes, these special cargoes are governed by regulations to mitigate impacts from breaches of safety, property and health of the ground staff involved. Yeah, weight and balance is something I would say uh, does affect the performance of the aircraft. Number one, uh, certain angle where the aircraft cruise, it does save fuel. And of course, uh, you cannot always uh, uh, hit that that optimal. Uh, uh, we call it the zero fuel weight MAC. What is MAC? You may ask. MAC stands for Mean Aerodynamic Chord, which is the chord of an imaginary rectangular wind that has the same aerodynamic characteristics as the actual wind. MAC is calculated to help determine the center of gravity limits of the aircraft, which is needed for aircraft balance purposes. Let's hear from Mr. Chua regarding his experience as a loadmaster. Uh, there are also other challenges like let's say if the pallets are, are oversized they can't be loaded into the, the aircraft because sometimes the aircraft uh, are, the control are built in such a way that you cannot be too high, you cannot be uh, too big and it affects the, the adjacent pallets. A stellar real life example is an incident involving Air Midwest Flight 5481 from Charlotte to Greenville in 2003. Some causes for these accidents include no weight and balance calculation made, not securing the cargo well, incorrect loading, incorrect load sheet, or the center of gravity of the aircraft exceeding the forward or aft limits. The following is a good example of an aircraft weight and balance accident which provides a reference for all airlines and prompts world aviation government bodies to implement and standardize a set of aircraft weight and balance procedures to prevent a reoccurrence of such events. Many people in the aviation industry tend to underestimate the importance of proper weight and balance of the aircraft. Load sheets are taken for granted and hasty calculations are made of the aircraft's center of gravity. Many of these occurrences could have been avoided if more attention were given to the weight and balance of aircrafts. Unfortunately, each year there are a number of accidents related to weight and balance issues. Here are some statistics to back it up. More than 76% of aircraft weight and balance accidents happen during the takeoff and landing phase of passenger flights. This shows that without proper aircraft weight and balance procedures and regulations in place, the overall effectiveness and viability of airline operations would be greatly reduced.
All in all, aircraft weight and balance plays a pivotal role in airline operations. Yes, flight control center, fuel planning, passenger services, and baggage services are crucial components of airline operations, but aircraft weight and balance is of equal importance and the most underrated among the five. Throughout this video, we hope that you understand more about aircraft weight and balance and that when you visit the airport the next time, please pay more notice to this crucial component of airline operations.